All right, welcome everybody to Coffee and Art on a Monday morning. Thanks for being here. I'm Dee Dee. This is a live show on Ustream.tv if you're watching the recording on YouTube. Um, we have a live chat and mostly awake people. Not everybody's awake, but a lot of people. So anyway, we're going to do a few things today. Get a little caught up, maybe give some inspiration, some ideas, some society of idea collecting. We haven't done that in a while. And um, only a Pecola, I think Pecola is the only one that ever knows what <clears throat> episode of Society of Idea Collectors we are on. But I'll look it up. Uh, <laughs> 19, 20, 21, something like that. And, uh, but we're going to start out with the syllables journal. And I'm not going to do a big review on it because I've done a whole bunch of those already. But uh, essentially what it is is doing a page a week. You're making your own planner page. Now, again, it can be a planner page. It can be a, 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 um, a smash book. It can be a little combination of all. It, it's just a page of your week. Whatever happens in that week. It's episode 20. Thanks, Pacola. Let me write that down. <laughs> oh, number 20. Um, so we're going to do a, a Society of uh, Idea Collectors a tip or little new little brain uh, map, mind map thing. So we're going to do that after this. So, um, anyway, so I wanted to do a random page. Now, so far, i got to say, most of, I have not really written a journaling or, and I'm not a big, like, diarist, okay? I want to distinguish that between a planner and a diary keeper because I've talked about it before. <clears throat> I tried to do the kind of planner thing where, you, where it's almost like a diary where you write everything down you've done and you track your food, you track your water. Nothing wrong with any of that. Don't email me, people. But for me, I tried to do that a few years ago. Well, it's been quite a few years ago. And I did it in a big 12 by 12 scrapbook with a big full-on calendar pages you know, every month had a, a full-on calendar page. I tried to do that. Well, I did do it for a year. I could not wait for the year to be over. I was so tired of tracking myself. <laughs> I wore myself out tracking myself. <laughs> so my planners and, and uh, journals and stuff like that, they don't really, they're not really a diary, daily diary kind of thing. I just don't do those well because it's just, I just don't. And uh, so mine are going to be more like, I guess I, I, I might write some notes in there, but maybe more smash booky type thing. And look, here's a smash book thing. I just now realize that. Um, that kind of thing. And but what yeah get your dollar yeah dollar tree calendars now i i showed how i like the idea of using the little squares right for the for the daily um your daily little notes okay but some people go oh that's a lot of trouble i don't want to cut well don't then here i did these i'm going to show you these today i made some with just squares some paint around the, the edges and then I just stamp the days, and they're all out of order here, but here's the week of the 8th through the whatever, 7th, what day is today, yeah, 8th, yeah. This is for this week, and, um, but what the idea behind doing squares is that you can move things around. I love the idea of flexibility. That's why I love three ring binders, I like or anything that you can shift things around in, <clears throat> And so that's what I like about this. Now, what I have done, what I have done in my syllables journal, it's already getting flat and fluffy. I might have to go from a two inch to a three inch binder. I don't know. Either that or just take some stuff out that's really, I did put a, a little bit of my Society of Idea Collector stuff in here to use in conjunction with my syllables journal, but it's really not necessary to be in here, so it might have to go back in my Society of Idea Collector journal. For instance, <clears throat> my my uh, color uh, color mind mapping. So we did this a while back, and what it is is I got there's probably about I don't know 15 colors 
different colors and we mind map out anything we could think of that is that color anything we could think of that was that color and you can continuously add to this right <clears throat> this this is not that thick but these kind of things add up they build up and um so this might have to go back the same thing for some of my word list some of my other general lists this one's quite fat <clears throat> i have a lot of lists in here to use but i i think it just it's fattening up my syllables too much i have a quote section that might have to go my mind map definitely is not going to be done in here other than those colors it's just too um it's going to get too fluffy you know you like the square idea? Yeah, I like the square idea too. But again, if you don't have a calendar, you don't. And they're all you can get them for a dollar. You can, you know, the especially now, you know, um, and and just cut them out for your days, and then you can decorate them. <clears throat> Let me get a sip of coffee here, guys. You can decorate them. So I've shown all. I haven't done a lot of journaling in mine. Mine's been more throwing stuff in, which is what I like. Every one has a paper clip to it. Here's my reference. I haven't put any references in here. Um, so here's where we kind of started with our samples. And again, I'm not going to overly explain them because I've done that before. But here's essentially what the idea is. Squares for your day. And these were back from December. I think these were uh, left over. Uh, no, actually, I think these are from November. Um, so whether you use the calendar squares or if you make your own, like, where'd they go here? Or if you make your own and just stamp your days, whatever works for you. But the idea is, is don't, don't glue them or staple them or permanently tape them down until the end of the week. That way you can move them and shift them around. You can move your stuff around, paper clip everything to the page, and then at the end of the week, put your week together. And that could just be things on post-it notes. If you've got all your stuff on post-it notes and you just want to throw it all on there and not have anything artsy, it's just your week, a receipt, a gift, a card somebody sent you, and you don't really want to do a lot of decorating, or you just want a memory or a record or a keepsake. You just want a keepsake of that week. Then just washi tape it on here. It doesn't have to be... Um, now, books, my book's a million. I want to go this week, but so far it's it's always been the same. Um, the three dollar calendars is the first week of February. I, they are probably right now fifty percent off the calendars, the, and they're fifty percent off at Barnes and Noble. I don't think Barnes and Noble ever marks their calendars down to under fifty percent. Uh, Books a million, they're probably fifty percent off now, but the first week of February they are three dollars. At least that's how it's been for the last five, six. I don't know how many years I've been collecting them from. The first week of February, where all and I mean, and that includes leather journals, planners, everything. Books a Million has these awesome sales the first week of February with any calendars that's left over, right? Uh, if you find a calendar in December that you really love, you probably should go ahead and buy it and pay the fifteen, sixteen dollars if you really love the calendar. If you're just going to use it for your yearly calendar, but we use them for cutting them up. And, you know, stuff like that. So, I'm not paying more than $3 for them, right? They were 50, yeah, so they're 50% off, Janet said, at her BAM last week. Yeah, they usually go first, you know, right after the first of the year, they all go on sale 50% off. Uh, but the, the $3 is where I like to, you know, catch it. Okay, so I'm just going to flip through here some of the pages that I've done. And again, these I stapled. I just, I want to show y'all, this was before I started actually doing the pages. Well, this one I did finish, Veterans Day. So, if you have a special day that you want to do uh, more with, that's fine. But your book's going to get bulky. It's going to get bulky. Here's my B study. Again, this should probably go over into my Society of Idea Collector binder. I have a separate binder for the Society of Idea Collectors. Okay, um, this one is my syllables. It's supposed to be one cardstock page a week with maybe a special like Veterans Day, Christmas, 
uh, you know, a holiday page or something like that. But it's going to get too bulky if I put all my, like my bee mind mapping, my bee studies. If I put all that in here, it's going to get too full. I, I'm already seeing that. Hey, May. Here's, um, instead of, these are my lemon lemons here. Instead of um, making lemons, lemonade out of lemons, you grow a lemon tree. <laughs> Here's another sample if you're a journaler. So I kept this one. You know, I want to show y'all ideas. We're all about the ideas. It's all about the ideas, people. So take what works for you. If one thing doesn't work for you, then move on to a separate one. Combine things. Make, you sh everybody should have a binder, though, of some kind. Whether, you know, a planner, journaler, society of idea collectors, using your stuff up, whatever it is. It just never hurts to have a binder to play in, even if it's just a sketchbook. You know, I got one of those, too. <laughs> but anyway... Um, so here's one where, and these are paint chips, so I showed that you can use paint chips for your daily, uh, your daily little notes. <clears throat> here's where I drew a bunch of lines to show you that you can journal on these. So if you want, if you're a big journaler, then you can just keep, you know, so-and-so's birthday was this day. <clears throat> then we had, you know, uh, I went to, uh, I went to Disney that day, went to the, did that, I did this, I did that. So there's your week, right? But then you got all these journaling lines if you like to journal. So, you know, use it and make it work for you. If you're, you know, whatever, you, if you're a smash booker, just stick stuff on. And make some notes. That's why I'm trying to keep it um, a lot of negative space. So there's, there's a splotch of yellow to start on here, but everything else is like, I'm trying to keep it kind of white, if you will, <clears throat> so that you have lots of um, options. You have lots of options that way. Again, if you don't like, uh, if you don't like the calendar square idea, here's little post-it notes. Do post-it notes for your days. Um, here's some of the, these are the Jane Davenport post-it notes. You just, whatever, you know, there's a bazillion types of post-it notes out there. This is a page I haven't done yet on football. So this was the first one we did. We did this a couple weeks ago, I think it was. A week and a half. I don't know. I lose track of time. I should write it down. Uh, <laughs> anyway. So I have a couple Christmas, New Year's pages. Um, so we did this one. This was out of a color book. This was out of the May Della Bennett Klein's Daughters color book. And we colored this, cut it out. And here we got, uh, and you could write here with on with gold. You could write notes. You could just put a sticky on here with the gifts you got, or you could write them out, or you could write on the back, which I have some uh, uh, cards on the back here. I kept a couple things specifically to show you, like the smash book type look. So I have some cards in here. Here's one of my um, Santa i.e. my mother, <laughs> has sent me the Little Lifesaver book for as long as I can remember. The Little Lifesaver book, and it's always from Santa. So here's my little card from my mom. I kept that. Here's some wrapping paper I like because I want to cut those trees out, maybe, if I get time, you know. So I have that clipped here. So, you know, just a paper clip and, or, and some washi tape. You know, hold things in, okay? Some more cards that I want to cut up that have trees on them. <clears throat> Here's another, like, this was going to be my first page in the book. But it just is still sitting here. <laughs> uh, write your own story. Every uh, moment matters. And then it's just a bunch of, you know, it's just all kinds of things on there lots of things to yeah it is button a lot, lot of space to write this is just stuff that you have and i'm going to show you you know some of the ephemera here's some stickers i, I got these they were like a 10 cents i think at hobby lobby when all the christmas stuff's 90 percent off and this was a piece of a uh, wrapping paper that i just loved the zebra so this just it's just paper clipped in there for now I may get back to you. <laughs> I want to, but you know, we do a lot of stuff around here, so we'll see. Here's um, <clears throat> my Zandra pour. She did ornaments with the pour on it. So these are the dashboards for the month. 
<laughs> so here's January, although I'm using this because I've leftover Christmas stuff. But that was the little ornament pour that Xandra sent me. Another thing from my mom, a little note from my mom, a tag from Annie. Here's, um, this is a Xandra. This is, and here's a pocket. I have one of these a month. <clears throat> Every month I have uh, one of these uh, baseball card ATC sleeves for things like this. So just so that you can just pop a few things in if you want. Again, make this your own, guys. If you don't like that, don't put that in. You know, don't put that kind of stuff in. It's totally up to you. So here was my first January New Year page. Again, we did this. This was a uh, May um, Klein page. We colored it. And it has some paint, you know, ink on the back. And then this was a mask out of uh, Flow Magazine. <clears throat> And then I found uh, somebody that sent me, or this was a little, no, I think this was a little doodad on a, on a traveler's something insert. So anyway, so I took, see it has the holes in it. I took that out and I just glued it to this mask just because it gave it a little bit more on. So it just kind of, this was my new year page, right? Here's some other stuff stuck up here. You know, it, it may just stay under there or I might end up gluing it down. Here's, oh, this was another flow girl here with a little champagne. Anyway, so if you have questions, put them in caps. If you're new, especially, guys, um, if you don't put it in caps, I'll probably might miss it because this chat goes so fast. Okay, so this was our first week. We did a video of this one. This was the first week in January. I used paint chips for the for the days and th again this was probably about two weeks ago maybe we made this this was a color book page out of the flow book f for paper lovers colored it glued it out but we didn't glue down the top here I say we because we did it live you know <laughs> didn't glue that down then I just put a little paper clip here paper clip the first day some little butterflies are, are glue dotted on here with the glue dot and so anyway, uh, yeah, there's the first day of the first week in January. All right, so I pulled some stuff out. Here's some stencils. I did this one based off of um, a couple people. Janet has a, and if y'all were here last, I think it was Friday where we worked, Wednesday or Friday when we worked in her uh, scavenger hunt book and had cut out letters and stuff and also the Mary LTA has been cutting out letters and words well anyway so I said I'm going to just cut out January so I cut out and this is all I got so far I got some blank pages here oh and then the other thing I want to show is that every month has one you know has a divider it's the plastic it's for like um like your dashboard for the month and then I have the plastic sleeve one for a month and then you should have four to five depending on how many weeks are in that month you know some some weeks carry over you know um, a couple of days so here's my January now I just did this as a sample I don't know that I'm going to use this I just wanted to show you guys how you can use cut out letters out of magazine and just make them your own just bubble hand write hand bubble your letters and then cut them out and glue them on this could be a page this could be this week uh, maybe I'll do that. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I have these little squares already cut out for this week, starting today. Um, or did I start it on Sunday? Let me look back here. I don't remember if I started it on uh, my weeks on Sunday or Monday. Let me look at the one that... Here. Yeah, we started it on Monday. Monday the 1st through the 7th. So this will start today. I pulled out some stencils just to show you if you just want a little bit of a background, just a little bit of a color. I would recommend that you did that before you started gluing down. But again, I wanted to do this for a sample for you guys. So let me see about chat here. But what I want to do, and I think I will just start a fresh page because I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. So I'm going to move my book. I got some blank cards and this is just card stock and again there should be one for every week but I'm gonna move this off here and, I, and my stencil idea to remind me to use stencils so then here's February March April May there's you know 12 you know there's one for every every uh, month there 
So there's my syllables journal, which is already getting too fat, <laughs> too fluffy already. Um, all right, so let's move that to the side. And again, remember that we want to use our stuff up. So I have the syllables binder, which I'm not going to pull over here right now because I'm not going to pull from that today. But the syllable binder is just a whole binder full of plastic sleeves, ATC card type sleeves, all plastic sleeves to put all your, your ephemera and stuff and, you know, all that in so that you don't forget to use it. That being said, I have plenty of other stuff to use. All right, so I have this, and, and let me get my um, Society of Idea Collector bowl out. I'll do a drawing out of our bowl after a while. And I'll give away a couple envelopes full of this stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let me move my calendars because I already got this week cut out. So I can move that. Um, I also, this is just some of my die cuts. Um, you know, some of the stuff that I've cut out of my cameo. Uh, just random, you know, die cuts, flowers, butterflies, and stuff that I've used. Here's a, a crow or a raven. These are out of my cameo. And they're a little more delicate. So if you have a lot of cutouts from your cameo and stuff like that, I would not recommend just throwing these, you know, because mine are kind of on thinner paper. Um, and if they're delicate with words and stuff like that, they'll, they'll get smashed up and, and torn up if you just throw them in something like this <laughs> so I have a few of those in here so I may add that as an extra something something on there but my plan for the day is is to make a page now where'd my papers go what do I do with them well I just had them here where'd I put my blank paper yikes literally just had it did I put them in the book not pull them out of the book Where's my blank? Wow. <laughs> I just had blank papers here to work on. Cardstock. Well, let me just pull some more cardstock. I <laughs> just had three sheets. I don't know what I did with them. Okay. So what I'm going to do... Move some stuff here. I don't want to lose my already made days. <clears throat> We're still with the tour, guys. I know I, I cover a lot of stuff, but, you know, I, I want y'all to have lots of ideas to work with. So this is a box. Oh, look. They were static electricity to the bottom. Oh, my gosh. I knew I just had these things. Okay, so <laughs> the static electricity. So I have a plastic box here. Dee, I do that all the time. Glad I'm not like <laughs> It was stuck to the bottom. So this is just a big box of faux ephemera. Okay, and I have multiples of these because, you know, I do a lot of collage. I have drawers, bins, and more bins, bigger bins, and more bins of collage stuff. And uh, so this is the only one that I keep, like, right to my right handy. Um, but, you know, I just, that's so that I remember to use it. So I have this big bin of just all kinds of faux ephemera. There's stuff from the little letters and Betty and there's just all kinds of stuff. So my plan today is to just grab a couple handfuls and mm -hmm. use whatever I pull to make January 8th week out of just what I pull. Maybe some washi tape. I don't know. <laughs> but I want to kind of build a page off of just whatever stuff I pull. So I'm going to just pull a handful of stuff off the top here. Maybe a couple littler stuff like this. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to pull that. That's going to be more than enough probably to make a page. Maybe, what was this? Oh, some tags. Okay, I'll pull the tags too. If I don't use any of the tags, they'll go in the in, in a giveaway. Okay, so I got a handful of stuff right here, right? I don't know what all's in here, but we're going to build a page off of that. <laughs> you like the idea, Terry? Yeah, so <clears throat> I'll do a couple of uh, drawings. <coughs> Sorry, guys, my voice. And, and give away a couple of envelopes of this stuff. Just some business size envelopes, you know. 
to the Society Idea Collector Girls. All right, so let's get a page here. And now I already had these um, little squares, and it's got, like, green and sienna. That's what I paint, and ochre. Those just happen to be the colors that I made these on. Now, we don't have to use these, of course. We can make more, but I'm just going to go ahead and use them because I've already got the dates stamped on them. Oh, speaking of date stamps, let me show you all my new box. My um, Michael's had a 50% off... Um, uh, storage, any kind of storage. So I didn't buy any big storage things. I don't really have room. I'd love one, you know, I love the, uh, the, what are those called? Rosca carts and all that kind of stuff. Michael's has a faux Rosca, Rasca, Rasca, you know, the Ikea carts. <clears throat> I don't have room for those in here. I barely have room for me in here. So, but on my desk, I wanted, I have these little, those little baskets, the little white baskets, but so they have all their, they had all their um, storage and boxes on sale, so I got three of them, three different sizes, and they were just so pretty. So instead of like 10, 8, and 5, they were like 5, 4, and $2.50. So they're just so pretty. They're, they look good on the desk. They have magnetized flaps. So in this one, I just have my glue, and there's Eileen, and um, these two things are waiting to go to Eileen and Janet. I should probably take them out of here and put them over in my Happy Mail. There's Eileen and Janet. <clears throat> they're never far away. Just saying. They're, they're right here. So I just have some glue and stuff in this one. And you can see it's about, I guess, about six inches tall. I'm not sure how long. There. And then on um, with that one, then I got this one's Trust Your Heart. They're just so pretty, aren't they? This one's got my stamp pads. And the reason I'm pulling this out because I wanted to show you if you have a date stamp you can make all your little if you're not using a calendar you know you can just make your own little squares I feel like you're at home a group of people who drool over scraps oh yes oh yes paint girl painting paint girly <laughs> I'm just gonna call you girly <laughs> um so anyway uh have a date stamp in my you know, I put my B stamp in here because, you know, I lost that thing for some weeks. And so I just have some, you know, stamps in here, a uh, the little acrylic block, which I'll probably need because I wanted to show you. I'm going to use this. This is the baskets that I'm talking about that I had on my desk. I still have this one, but um, this was the Michaels uh, little traveler insert folder you know, they have the stencils and the stamps and all that. Well, these came with the block and the little, I don't know what I did with the stamp here. These came with these little, you know, cheap little pads. But anyway, so I wanted, to, I pulled this out to use today on our page so that you can see you can stamp lines if you don't want to draw them. Have that handy. Uh, and then here's my Society of Idea Collector stamp. I'm trying to remember to stamp all my Happy Mail with the Society of Idea Collector light bulb. So anyway, that goes, you know, there, in there. And then the last little box here that I have on my desk is all the stuff that I'm using on whatever current color book page I'm working on. Y'all know I'm working on that big poster uh, from the Korean fa uh, fairy tale color book. These are what I'm using. Here's my, uh, and I know, and I, I wouldn't, I won't be able to keep this in here for long. I, I This will bother me after too long. Having my Neo colors not in their tin and having my polys not in their case. But these are the colors of, of Neo colors and polys that I'm using currently on that poster. And I am working on the poster. So that's why there, this box will be whatever current projects I'm working on. So that I don't have to write my colors down, hunt them back up out of the out of the cases and boxes. So here's the colors that I'm using for that poster at the moment. That sits right here because I'll get back to that. Okay. So. <laughs> So let's see what we can do. Uh, oh, so because I'm using green and I don't know, do, I'm not sure if I want a swatch of some kind of color on here. You know, um, January's, you know, usually snow. And I think that's probably why I did fall colors on here. Maybe I should do a, these over, though, if I, well, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll use a tag. So I have these tags. Um, 
and if I don't use them I, again I'll put them in the giveaway let's see where they open these are old I don't even know how old these are but I like this American tag company this will go in the uh, scavenger hunt American I don't even this is old I think guys I'm not sure but anyway I'm gonna that will go in the scavenger hunt book <laughs> we have so many little projects don't we okay so here's some tags so we could use like one or two of these we could use them with the with the uh, dates there's just so many ways you can do this stuff guys it's just whatever you want okay <laughs> hey dragonfly anybody else popping in I'm sure I've missed saying hi to some of you we're gonna we're working on a syllables page a syllables and oh, my camera is a little crooked it's making the paper there we go that's squared up um, so I pulled a handful of stuff I don't even know what this is why is this in here I don't even know why this is in here it's just a piece that will this is going to the trash well maybe it could be a border I don't know but it's yeah, let's see what color I want to use so I think we'll go with the sienna color why not uh, maybe we'll go with a stencil so I pulled these stencils just to remind myself you know what you got some stencils girl you might use some of them here's some of these stained glass y'all can see I've used and used and used these it's just been a while it's been a minute since I used use stencils but uh yeah i like kind of like oh, i like this butterfly in this window and this is all no planning <laughs> for me anyway there's no planning to this it's all just spontaneous whatever but i think i'm going to go with that i'm going to go with this and maybe a butterfly on top of that window that will be a nice january touch maybe over on this side so yeah, let's get a little paint. <laughs> All right. Let's get some sienna. This is a good color here. This is burnt burnt orange. It's a little more on the orange than just sienna, but we'll go with that. Do you I hope you got Connie, are you the one that sent it to me? Which one did you send? The um, the the Dr. Seuss? Because I asked last week who sent me the Dr. Seuss. Is that the one you're talking about? Dr. Seuss? Yes, I showed it last week and there was no name in there, so I didn't know who sent it to me. <laughs> here, where is it? It's right here. <clears throat> it's a Dr. Seuss color book. I didn't know who sent it to me. I flipped through it last week. Isn't that fun, guys? Thank you, Connie. I should have known it was you or Suze, but <laughs> Suze was here and she didn't claim it, so. Okay, so I use these makeup wedges and they're dry. If you're gonna dab paint on stencils, you wanna make sure, and let me pull up my sleeves a little bit, uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Connie. That's so sweet. Um, make sure they're dry. Do not put water in your sponges if you're going to stencil because it'll creep under the stencil. Keep it dry. So we're going to go with this little window here. And uh, yeah, let's just see here. Let's go. I'm just going to do the inside here. I don't want the outer edge. This was a, this set of stencils I think came from um, Joann's. I think I bought them a few years ago. They had a clearance or something, and there was a whole sheet of stained glass windows. Um, I cut them apart, you know, as you can see. Oh, I do like it. I showed it. Yeah, it was, it's fun. We'll we'll get around to it eventually. You know, we get to all the color books. It takes a while sometimes, but we get back to. <laughs> And there's no water in my paint either. I'm just dabbing, just dabbing on dry, you know, non-watered down acrylic paint and a dry sponge. Once you, like, if you, let's just say you were going to change colors or something and you w wash this out, don't use that same sponge because it'll be, it'll seep under. Unless you just don't care if it seeps under, you know, whatever. But it will seep under. Okay. So there's that. I'll just let this dry. Don't, I don't wash my stencils, people. I know. Don't email me. And then I want this one of these butterflies on top. Maybe this one. I just want a little color in the background. I need a little more paint. Um, 
I just want a little color on the background. I might do some doodles around it. I, I don't know. We're going to just roll with it here. Again, this could be a, your, your page could be a smash book page. It could be uh, a journaling page. Uh, if you're doing a, if you're a planner and you, you know, you're using your planner for work and stuff like this, this is, this is uh, not probably going to work for you, this type of journaling thing, because you need it for actual appointments, you know, stuff like that. If you have to have a planner for appointments, you know, that that's a whole different thing. And we have planners, and we've talked about that, too. All right, so I've used this. Um, I, I cut these out all the time out of my Cameo. Um, the only thing I could think is I might trim that out and use it. But other than that, I would throw this away. All right, so I'm done with this. So I'm going to put my sponge in my paint water over here. Just so it doesn't, and if it does dry out, if your sponges dry out and get crusty, just snip off the the dried part of the paint. Hey, kitty meow meow. Okay, let's see. L let me just hit this with the heat gun for just a second, just so it's dry. Maybe this too. use it but you know it has possibilities I bought several one for me and my daughter and you oh have you worked in yours Connie have you worked in your um, Dr. Seuss color book it just makes you smile to flip through it doesn't it I just think this would be a pretty little accent if I can just kind of cut around it here. Have a butterfly in January. It's a little, a little happy, right? In the cold months. They close the schools here because it's supposed to, um, because it's like below freezing and we're supposed to get rain. Yeah, we don't mess around down here in the south. A little, a couple of flakes, people. Everything shut down. <laughs> uh, and probably be glad they do. <laughs> Nobody knows how to drive. Okay, so there's just a little bit of, um, I don't know, eh, eh, kind of, maybe. Kind of looks kind of. I might paper clip it to the top. All right, so I'm going to set that aside for now. Okay. Now, um, do I want to kind of doodle around this? Do I just want to start? Let me move my stencils because I think I'm done with that for now. This is how it piles up behind me. Okay, so I want to play with this stuff. This is the stuff I just grabbed out of Rodeo Girl. I like that. This is the stuff that I grabbed out of the, uh, what do you call it? And I'm just going to play. I think I'm going to make this. Let me cut this. You know, here's how I look at it like this, guys. This is paint and paper. If you end up doing a page you don't like, I should put this on a, a craft mat and cut it with a knife. But I don't have that handy, so I'm just going to cut a little slit right here. If it doesn't turn out, you don't like it, like, you know, throw it away. <laughs> it's like no big deal. Be glad we get, yeah, exactly. Everybody be glad that we don't drive on icy roads around here. We just shut everything down in the south. And trust me, I lived in Alaska for three years. You want to be glad that people that don't know how to drive don't. <laughs> All right, so, you know, I got my week here, so let's just kind of think about it. Let me, I think it starts with the 8th. They're all, all out of order now because I've been messing with them. Let's see, here we go. So, let's see. Let's start with 8, 9, and I'll probably write, get something up here with January. I don't know. I'm just kind of messing right now. I'm just kind of playing for a minute. Um, maybe a little tag in there. And then eight. That's Monday, so 
maybe we'll go this way or maybe not nine and again use a pop dot you know a glue dot or just paper clip it for the time being nine ten 11, 12, 13, and then, the, and then the weekend, 14 and 15 down here. So you can see. And then you can write, if you want to just washi tape these down so you can move them around. Okay. So, so you see how it doesn't take a, take a lot of stuff to fill a page. All right, let's see here. Let me get some washi tape. And do I have any burnt sienna colors? I'm sure I do. Let's look. Okay, let's go with this tray first. Oh, I like this with the kind of ruler look. We'll go with that because it's the color. It's brown. Well, I don't know if I want everything brown. Maybe we want something a little brighter. Like some toucans or some flamingos. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, got some sock monkeys. That would that sock monkeys always works. Um, hmm, what are the what's this one? This one's art supplies. Let's go with some art supplies. Okay. <laughs> it does have eight days eight monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday oh it does thank you the 15th starts next week let's move the 13th and 14th down here <laughs> okay so let's just move that off for a minute because i want to do a little bit more background <laughs> thank you for that janice all right, so I want to use all this stuff. So I've got a whole bunch of quotes here. Um, the best mirror is an old friend. Instruction in youth is like engraving the stone. They're just all kinds of random quotes. I bought a big bag of quotes one year. Um, Let sleeping dogs lie. That, that's, you know, that's good. That's a good one for um, starting a new year right <laughs> let's just move on to a new a new year right here's a little i don't know what that's a little star thing so i think i'll go with that quote age before beauty i love uh, judge judy one of my favorite quotes beauty fades dumb is forever <laughs> i know i love that one i always told my girls that remember beauty fades dumb is forever I'm just reading some of these now. Mother knows best. No place like home. Don't cross that bridge until you come to it. He who pays the piper picks the tunes. Don't burn the candle at both ends. That's a good one too. Let's do that. Let sleeping dogs lie. Don't burn the candle at both ends. Those are good for um, those are good for uh, the new year, right? Let's, I mean, let me get my tiny attacher. I think I'll just go ahead and staple those down. I'll go ahead and staple those with my tiny attacher. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Uh, it's been a while since I've gone outside and done uh, driveway art. And uh, <laughs> in my driveway, Art used my big heat gun. <laughs> okay. Oh, anyway. Oh, I think I, I like that little. I think I'll glue that down. All right. Let me get my Eileen's Tacky Glue. <laughs> you like that one? Okay. So, and I need a paper clip. I need a uh, paper clip to see what I decide I might want to clip. Let me just grab one over here. Should I get um, should I get one with a flag or should I just go with a paper? <laughs> Sorry guys, I just get... all right. I just want a regular size paper clip. Let's see. Let's see. Here's some orange. I like that because it's kind of um, 
goes with the colors of sienna. Here's a little orange one. We just need a little one here. Kind of going with the orange. <laughs> you, you like it when I laugh at myself? <laughs> Well, hey, it's, you got, hey, you don't want to cry. You want to laugh, right? Okay, so here's a, this is a kind of a cool gold swirl. Here's some more. There's a clock. Kind of like that. You know, it's a new year. A couple of clocks in there. Let's go with that. Maybe that can, you know, there's no hands on it there. Maybe we could, you know, go with that. I'll do, I'll give that one away. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Home cooking that will please you. This is, I know it's probably a graphic 45. Y'all know I don't cook. Maybe that should go on here. <laughs> I need another cut right there. I don't want to cut my paper, but let me see. Where's my exacto knife? I've got my exacto knife back here somewhere. Here's one. I don't want to cut through my, this is just paper, like 30 layers of paper. I don't really want to cut through that, but I'll just tape it if I do. I need a little, there we go. Home cooking. Need a little bit more. Come on, you'll fit in there. Why isn't it going in there? Hmm. Okay. I like that. Are y'all having fun? Just watch me pile it on. <laughs> oh my goodness. And, um, you know, you could use a little glue dot, some double sided tape or glue, whatever works. Let's see. I've got glue runners. I know I got some double sided tape here somewhere. You know, blue dots, and then I have the big snot dots, as they're called, the, the ones that are, <laughs> I'm just going to stick that back here, Hold that will hold the clock and the home cooking. We have to do January in here somewhere, too. Let's go ahead and glue this. you got to just commit to the page, you know. If it doesn't work, just pile more on top. Don't, like, get over over uh, anxious about this is this it's got a pile of this stuff right do you remember the dog called precious from the cartoons when i laugh oh yes i do <laughs> like that or something like that something like that connie <laughs> or is that the one i can't do it it's like a wheezy <laughs> can't do it now when i try I know what you're talking about, though. I haven't thought of it in years, but yeah. Um, thank you for that, Connie. I sound like the cartoon dog. <laughs> oh, look. This would be a good for the first day. Oh, but we're, we're on the 8th. Never mind. <laughs> but that's a good one for the, you know, these kind of number things. That's awesome for... Um, there's a look. Let me just pick out some things here. There's a look. I like that little piece of whatever this is. I like that. I like that. <laughs> There's a gal on Instagram who will not share her coloring technique. Wondering if you might be able to look at her work and figure it out. Like right now, like on the show. Just go on there and let's just call her out. Is that what you mean, girly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I will go look. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. I'm not going <laughs> to... Is, is that what you want to do? <laughs> hey, what's your color and technique? You're, you're keeping it from us. We need to know. <laughs> just give me... I'm just teasing you, girly. Seriously. Okay, here's some little letters. Let's, should we just float some letters? I'd rather float numbers. Here's a, some zeros because, um, you know, let's maybe float some around. <laughs> Is that what you want to do? <laughs> 
What did Con? What did you say? Con yes, you do want us to. <laughs> um, okay. We, yeah, I won't mind doing that, but yeah, I'm not going to do it right now. <laughs> I'll do that off the air. Um, yeah. Are you on Twitter? You can tweet it to me. <laughs> Oh, look at this one. I like that. I like those little, those little, this is, a, I know that's a graphic 45 too. Do I just want to put that there, I think, maybe? Do I want to cover up all that, see? What do y'all think? That, it, I mean, it goes there, but I'm going to lose my window. Maybe. <laughs> I'll just set it there for a minute. <laughs> Muttley from Penelope Pitstop. Yes, Azure. So I sound like Muttley from Penelope Pitstop. <laughs> oh my gosh, you girls crack me up. Okay, so see, we got all this little stuff. I I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm already getting it piled up here. Look, there's a little graphic 45 tag. But I like the little stars on the back. I think we'll just tuck that up under here because of the color. I like the little color. Not now. <laughs> Thanks, Mermaid Jan. Yeah, I know what she's talking about, Terry. It's a it's a dog on uh, the cartoon that kind of has a funny laugh. I get it. It's okay. I don't mind. That's a cool tag. I don't remember who put that one out, but. Uh, I'm trying just to use this stuff right here, right? Some more of that. That kind of ties that in. Tumbles it down, right? I might go with that. I'll just put a piece of uh, double-sided tape on it for now because I like that. Kind of carries the black through. All right, let's see. Just all kinds of stuff here. We'll put together a couple little envelopes of stuff to give away at the Society of Idea Collectors. If you're not a member of the Society of Idea Collectors, just let me know if you want to be a part of it. It means you're collecting ideas. Hopefully. You're not just joining just to get free stuff. A lot of people do. I understand that. But uh, hopefully you're trying to collect. Here's some little flowers. Like, let's look for looking forward to spring, right? Looking forward to spring. <clears throat> they're uh, cancel postage stamps okay we gotta have room for our uh, and really I am going to throw those little scraps there away there's a little piece of tissue paper that's kind of cool just because you know, it needs to have color behind it though all right <laughs> Say it with love. Okay, Connie. <laughs> All right. A bunch of... Oh, I didn't glue those little... I don't know if I have any more. Here's like letters. Letter Fetty. There's a Y. Yo. Let's do yo. That's good. I, I, I like this the idea of uh, YOLO, you only live wa uh, once, but I don't believe it, so I can't do that. I don't believe you only live once, so I believe there's life after this one, so I can't really, in good conscience, do YOLO, YOLO. <laughs> but I'll do YO. <laughs> okay, now let's see about our, our dates. And then we'll give all this stuff away. <laughs> okay, how about that? Because I'm liking this page. Although I didn't use a tag, I did kind of want to do the tag. But I'm kind of piled up enough, I think. Maybe, unless it went right there. I don't think it needs the tag. I like the graphicness of this without the cream color. I would like to be a part of that. I have been collecting and watching. Um, Mermaid Jan, email me. Email me. Um, I don't know if Terry or anybody else is. They're so busy laughing at my laugh. Listen, 
put it in. Oh, I gotta space it out. And and also tell me who you are, Mermaid Jan. Hey Barry, tell me who you are on Ustream. Because if you just you email me and say I'm Jan or Janice or Janet or I'm not gonna know who you are. So put Mermaid Jan. Say I'm Mermaid Jan from Ustream. So I know who you are, right? Oh, here's one. It says spirited. That's this, uh, yeah, that's these uh, little, little cowboys here. Let's put spirited on there. Okay. I think we got a pile up. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. So what do y'all think? Is that a little fun little page? We could doodle around the edges. You know, put a little little scratchy doodles around it. Just keeping with the black, white, and kind of orangey color here. So even if you just start with a color color theme okay now let's do our days so we have the 8th I can go, I'll probably go there the 9th and I think I'll you know I, I was going to use the washi tape I, I was going to use this with the uh, art supplies on it but I think now I'm just going to go with a yeah here let's go with a gold let's go with this gold color because it's got a little bit of that gold. Let's go with this gold washi tape. So, we'll just washi tape them all down. And then you can move them around as you add stuff. Okay, that's, I must have peeled that back in a couple of times. Because that first bit wasn't sticky. Okay, so, let's go right here. You know you'll want them next week. <laughs> okay, wait. I love this page. Love the colors. Dee Dee may be sorry throwing the scraps away. No, trust me. I won't be sorry. To, there's there's more scraps where those came from. Okay, so there's the ninth. I need to be going backwards because, you know, we want to do the most recent on top. So let's put the ninth. Go under there. So that if you want to write anything on there, you got, so I can still see the days, right? That washi tape is either I'm not putting enough on or I'm not pushing it down. Eighth, ninth, tenth. Yeah, it's not very sticky. What's with this gold washi tape? It's not very sticky. Or maybe it's my paint. Let's try that again. You like the page? Thanks, Minky. 10. Let's wait. Where's 11? I need 11 and 12. Where's 12? Yeah, this, I don't know what this washi tape, it's not feeling, I'm not feeling it. It's not feeling very sticky. And then you can move things around as your days, you know, you can line them up over here. You can move things around. I just like, I like junky pages like this. They're fun to play with and shift things around. Okay, 12 and then I need 13 and 14. 15 will go off there. So here's 14. <clears throat> and there, so this is Saturday and Sunday down here. Okay, there we go. And again, they're just washi tape down with washi tape that barely is sticking. So you can easily move those around. And you can put January on here if you want. But, you know, it has the January. I have that stamped on there. But if you want to... I'm going to move this one down. If you want to... Um, 
put the f January here, you know, some lettering, like maybe some stickers. Here, let me see here. Um, you know, because, like, we never can have too many alpha stickers. <laughs> Let's see if I can do January here. All right. Even J-A-N. These have a Western vibe to them, to me. All right, let's go with J. A. So I hope y'all thought this was a fun page to do. Again, whether you whether you do any journaling on this, you can do. Oh, that was the other thing I wanted to do. I wanted to stamp some like little journaling spots. Now these are brand new. I'll go ahead and try, nah, I don't want to try to use that. Let me go ahead and get a real stamp pad. <laughs> oh, don't unplug yourself there. <clears throat> okay, I have this, I've not used this yet, so I probably need to uh, condition it. Where's the, you can do different things to condition it. Just, I just take a quick eraser to it. Cause they're brand new. Uh oh, let's don't use, let's don't use the lose the little hearts and the little star. Getting rough there. So we'll do use some of these little. Uh, they're for planners, you know. They come in the. They come from Michaels in a little folder, and there's all these. Um, oh, thanks, sugar. Do you, you maybe? Sorry, throwing those scraps away. No, okay, I saw that already. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's get my little block. Let's go with this one. Maybe we'll go with two different ones. See, I'm going to end up losing those little hearts. I know that they need to stay there. There's actually some acrylic little, I mean, you know, I gotta say, these were just, you know, some inexpensive <laughs> little planner stamps. Okay, let's see. Let me do a test. I need a piece of something. That's good. See? Thanks, Eileen. I'm sure, Eileen, you're rushing right out to make one of these, right? <laughs> so there's a little spot to journal there. Now, I will take a baby wipe to these acrylic ones. Because if you don't clean those off, the next time I go to use it, there'll be black ink on there. At least dab it off, you know. <laughs> Just at least do a little dab. Okay, so then over on this side, I'll do a little... Let's do a little checkerboard. Just because it's cute. So again, make one of these a week. Just even if it's just to be a smash book kind of thing, I know I, I know nobody's gonna plan their week on this, right? But let's do two of those. The idea behind this is to use your stuff up. <clears throat> throughout the year you, you know use up scraps of stuff use your stamps and that's why I have in my syllables binder the stuff you know bunch just a bunch of stuff <laughs> so that we remember to use it okay so let's put that back there uh, glue dots over there okay so there we go what do y'all think is that kind of fun
fun little page. <clears throat> All right, so let's put this in the binder. already getting fluffy <laughs> this will go under oh, there's a little tag for the scraps there let's go to January there's January 1 through 7 and here we have January 8 through 14 And this was just our little sample. I'll keep it in there because we want samples. <clears throat> Until it gets so full, I have to start taking the samples out. Oh, the other thing too is, if you're going to keep it all together after the fact, then use the back side too. So if I get more stuff for this week, you know, then I, have, I can use the back side of last week. I can use the back side of last week to paper clip in something, you know. And plus I have my sleeve here. So let's just say I got a note from some, but well, I don't want to use any. I'll, I'll just put a tag in there just to show you. Let's put it right here. Say, so you have that. So there we go. There's week two of our syllables journal. And again, I have a lot of, probably this much right here, that much is left over from um, that move some Society of Idea Collector stuff in here, thinking I might use things in here like the coloring mind map. And look, see, I've already torn that. I already need to put a, put a, and I do have lots of those because <laughs> I'm, I'm rough on my books, the little um, reinforcers. So again, we did a little bit of mind mapping with colors. And speaking of mind maps, now for the next segment I want to do here, let's do a giveaway for the Society of Idea Collectors first. And then we'll do a, um, a, a little mind map exercise. Okay, so let's see what we got here. I'll give away two envelopes of stuff. <clears throat> And the uh, the pile's going down. I mean, it's still a lot in here, but you know, I give after I give something away, your name gets in another pile, uh, so that when this is all done, then we'll take your name and we'll put everybody's name back in. If you're new and you want to be in the Society of Ideal Collectors, <laughs> you can have a name. But really, guys, let you know, be um, be. Um, really do really do some collecting right okay so i'm gonna take all this that's left over here there's all kinds of like you know stamps and stuff i'm gonna put all this in one as long as it'll fit in a business size envelope we'll do two of them here let's pile this one in and i'll grab another handful And anytime you make something with stuff that I send you, uh, tag it, S -O, hashtag SOIC, Society of Idea Collectors. And uh, let's pull some more. Some different sizes here. Okay. See this step. I don't know how this got in here. This is like cutoffs of the edges of something, and it's like annoying. Okay. So it's just a bunch of little tags, word fatty, I don't know, bow telegrams, you know. But anyway, use it on something, whether you do a uh, syllables page 
or if you do whatever, you know, use the stuff, guys. Don't just take this and put it in your big pile, in your big pile of stuff, right? Because then it kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> right? It kind of defeats the purpose. There's a word on the floor. Let's get that one. Okay. Um... Yeah, you got to use the stuff. That's the idea this year. Okay, so there's another little letter. Let's throw that in there. Okay, so I'm going to pull two names out of... Let me get a poster or something to stick it down with. And I, I, I'm going to throw that away. I'm not going to use it. Okay. Oh, and let's put a tag in each one because I said I was going to use these tags. Let's put a tag... In each one. All righty. All righty. A little organized here. And uh, yeah, okay, so let's pull two names out of the hat here, or out of the bowl. I'm going to kind of mix them in. It's a deep bowl, it's a huge mm. bowl. It's a big potato salad bowl. All right, so I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to dig down here and pull out a name. You can give me your email. Yeah, I just put it on there. Maybe Terry can put it up there again. Okay, Zandra, who she's she's usually here sometimes. So Zandra is going to get one. Let me get a. I need a. I don't want this washi tape. This gold is not that working that good for me. Let's see. Here's some. Oh, I just tripped over. See, I got to pick things up or I trip over it. Here's some toucan little. Washi tape. So Zandra. Let's do another one. And Carol TMT. <clears throat> so these are the girls gonna get some stuff. Try to do something with it. Use it for something. <laughs> so there we go. And I'll put my bowl down here. I keep it handy. All right. So Zondra and Carol TMT are going to get some junk mail. Literal. Literally junk mail. Okay. Let me put that on my outgoing. All right. And you pick up just a little bit of stuff, guys, because it's literally right behind my chair, and I'll fall over it. Okay. So now, let's put my tiny attacher away. This will have some space. Um, oh, and I did bring out another thing to show you some ideas. Um, I pulled out... Hmm, where does this go? Okay. I pulled out an old scrapbook to show you to um, everybody's layering up their planners and their stuff like we're doing. And I see a lot of people doing stuff similar, you know, using up their stuff. So if you were ever a scrapbooker, then you have, you have plan layout ideas because you have done it for a long time. Suppose, you know, probably. So I'll show you some of my old... I only pulled out a couple things. I only pulled out one book. I have probably... Let me close this. Just so you can see, you can do multiple things with your planner, junk journals, whatever you want to call them. You know, I'm calling them syllables, but whatever. So I pulled out one of my old scrapbooks here. And this page is just a loose page that I need to get filed. This was from Samantha's boo, her birthday. Um, probably, and I, and this was in a frame, so I didn't date it because it was in a frame. Uh, it's been a few years, probably five years ago. Cam was probably, yeah, this is probably five years ago. So anyway, I had this one hanging up in a frame for a long time, so it's not in a sleeve. But what I want to show you, see, I've got tons of these. I literally have 25 scrapbooks. <laughs> um... I, I scrapbooked their whole life. But anyway, <laughs> so this is just one of the pages that I had framed downstairs. So you can see how I pile things on. 
see all the layers right there? There's like one, one, two, three, four, five layers right in there. Now, that's not a full sheet. You don't need a full sheet when it's all behind your picture, right? So layer up um, just scraps. These, you know, scraps. And none of this necessarily means anything. It's just, I like the design. I go by the color. So as you can see, it's all kind of, you know, the color thing. Yeah, I know. So young right there, right? I know. I know. I should go down. I'll show you. Let me go ahead and do that. Let me go run down and get you the two I have hanging up now. Hang on. I try to keep some hanging up downstairs. I need to make a new one of my grandson in LA. And uh, I have to snag pictures off of Facebook for him. Although I have quite a few older ones in this book. But anyway, so here's what they looked like about five years ago. My, these are my grandchildren. Um, you're welcome, G. Thanks for stopping in. Here's Boo. This is this last summer. That's her now. She just turned 15. So there's Boo. And as you can see, there's lots of stuff piled up. So that one. And then here's Cam, who just turned 18. So here he was about four to five years ago. And here he is now. So that's, uh, he's 18. Just turned 18. Just turned 18. So you can see, look, there's all kinds of stuff. This has nothing to do with him, really. You know, it's just, I like the things, right? So, yeah. So these are just, oh, and then the other thing, too, is if you take pictures, this was when Hubster and Cam went out to L.A. They try to go out there every year. They didn't, he got, Hubster got to go. Cam didn't get to go this year because he's, his senior schedule is just too much. But they try to go out to L.A. every year and visit uh, Annie as a, like a grandfather, grandson thing. So anyway, if you have just loose pictures, you don't know what to do with them, just put them in sleeves until you get to them. So here's just different things from, this was 2013. So this was like five, going on, you know, a little over four and a half, five years ago. Uh, close to five years ago. So um, I used a lot of Project Live cards. Um, there's a Hollywood, you know, um, Walk of Fame, you know, Hollywood Boulevard thing. So all different kinds of layers like this. See how I just layer it up? <clears throat> this is one of my favorite pictures, and this was just used with junk. This was used with leftover torn paper. Here's Annie walking. This is, you know, five years ago. So he was very little. And this was just some leftover um, inked. What's that paper called? The stretchy paper? You know, the paper in a roll, party paper. What's that called? Not tissue paper. It's a, it stretches. It stretches. You want them when they're ready to give them away. <laughs> Janet, when you're ready to give them away, send them to you. The kids, not the pictures, yeah. Um, it's that stretchy stuff. One of y'all will know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I put some ink on it and then just turned and made a little flat. Crepe paper. Thank you, girly. Crepe paper. So that's just crepe paper with a little tied bow. And see, it's just a bunch of stuff. Some splattered in the background. This page probably took me literally five minutes to do. And in my books, I also have all different sizes. I'll put um, I'll put eight and a half by eleven. I'll put Project Life sleeves. I'll put twelve by twelve. I'll put all different sizes of stuff. This was he was thirteen here, or was no? It was two thousand thirteen. Well, it was probably close to the same because he's eighteen now. So, 
yeah. So anyway, yeah, 2013. So again, there's just, you know, here's another one that's just a little, um, not a lot of stuff to it. So I would just, this is from Annie, so I had to grab this off of Facebook. But, <laughs> but anyway, pumpkin patch, more pumpkin patch. And then here's some just Project Life card sleeves in there. Little pictures. So as you can see, it's kind of a hodgepodge, right? And I print all my own pictures. So all these are I printed myself. There's their eating ice cream, probably in and out Burger. I don't know. Anyway. Here's, there's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> And then here's just a bunch of, um, it, you know, Project Life sleeves with pictures in them. So, again, just all different. Um, snow day. More snow days. That's out them in L.A. Here's um, uh, Joshua Tree. Here's, this. I love this one here. This is one of my favorites. I know, scrapbooking, but I'm, you know, it's Nana. This is Nana time. <laughs> I love that picture of them. So, yeah. But look at all the stuff. See all the stuff piled up? I just like the piles. I like the piles. And look, look sequins, splat, paint splatters. So, yeah. I don't show my scrapbooks very often, so. Um, th these were just some, and look, see, I put extra up here. These were extras. Um, this was for some kind of a contest. I don't remember. Anyway, I was a, na I did a nature gnome, um, a picture of me, um, sitting in the yard and then all these different rocks, sky, sand. Um, it was like all the different, you know. Rock, sky, water, all the different elements. Oh, now I will show this one off. <laughs> this is, for those, for one of the girls that's in Savannah, this is Hubster and his brothers and sisters and cousins. This is Savannah, 1959. And we tell Hubster, he looks like he should probably take a bite out of that fish right there. <laughs> look how skinny they all are. They look like little waifs, right? So there's Hubster in 1959. I did a little Savannah road trip. Uh, they they go to, you know, the, Hubster grew up in Georgia, born and, and raised in Georgia. Um, I was raised, I, I grew up in Texas. But anyway, so I just, <laughs> look how skinny. They look like little waifs, right? <laughs> I know, right? So I did a few pages for Hubster. Um, here's Boo when she got her new cheer shoes. This was back in 2013. So this was when she was at her gym. Uh, there's she got her new gym shoes right there. Her new um, cheer shoes. Look how look at that one got her face. <laughs> so I did that. I did pictures of her gym. Um, and then there's just some little little stuff in here. This, oh, this is a page when Deb, uh, Art, Artsology Deb sent me my cameo. I did a thank you page to Deb. So here's my first cameo cutouts, the little download card, the first cutouts, the picture of the cameo, her little words here she sent me, keep calm and turn your cameo on. So I did a, a remembrance page. That was in 2013. So my cameo is five years old. Uh, so yeah, I did that. So there's just all kinds of little things. Here's some photographs I've taken of flowers in my yard. Um, oh, here's some, of, these were fun. I should pull these out and do some giveaways or we should make some of these. These are, um, like junk cards, like they're postcards. Look, but it's all kinds of stuff. They're just like stapled on. Look pearls, little um, crepe paper flowers. I must have really liked the crepe paper at this time. And <laughs> But look, they're just little um, bye 
kitty. Thanks, Eileen. <laughs> Dude, my only phone charger fell in the cat box and got claimed. I got to go find a phone charger. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Kitty meow meow. <laughs> yeah, stapled on. Yes, it's stapled. <laughs> stapled on. Uh, but isn't it pretty? It's kind of like Victorian trash. Doesn't that look like Victorian trash? Little pearls. There's a stick pin right there. There's a little stick pin. Let's look at each one individually, shall we? <laughs> this one's got some, like, it's got, like, little, um, you know, old jewelry or I don't know what that is. And then pearls and leftover. This is a little bit of, um, like, muslin. Mus Muslim bag, you know, like, see how it's sh shredded, the little Muslim, muslin bag, and then here's a little doily, here's some stick pins, crepe paper, this is some little satin ribbon, scrapbook paper pieces, you like the trash cards? We need to make some trash cards, we've got a lot of trash we can use up. Victorian trash. You like that? <laughs> yeah, Victorian trash. Here's circus trash. <laughs> Still that same kind of thing. But uh, these look like, uh, there's a little circus something. And this looks like a graphic 45. Whoops. A graphic 45 little ephemera. Here's a little, made a little, um, it's kind of mashed together here. It's a little, um, little flags, you know, the little banner things. Little banners wa wafting across the top. <laughs> hey, Linda White Holiday. Or as we call her, Art Unit. Hey, Julie Topaz. Love to see, you like to see these cards made? It's just a bunch of junk. That's all it is. Here's another one. <clears throat> This one's just got some lace, some ribbon, some couple of little cards. That's all it is. It's just a bunch of junk. Do y'all want to make one? Uh, you know what? The only thing about doing that is this stuff is behind my, because I don't use it very often. <laughs> it's behind my pen. It's behind this. See this right here? My marker pen holder. See, there's shelves behind there, right? There's shelves behind that. That It's behind that shelf. <laughs> That's the only problem, is getting to, I might be able to find some flowers and lace, I don't know, but I think it's all back behind there. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah. But you know what, let me pull one out, just to, rem I'll, let, I'll pull these two out, because... They don't need to be in here. They don't need to be in my scrapbook. I mean, my uh, photo album scrapbook. So we'll, if we don't make them today, maybe we'll make... Y'all want me to make one? Uh, I can try, guys, but I'm, I'm serious. I don't know if I can get to my lace. My lace and, and doodads are... If I can climb under my table and get to them, if they're on a lower, sheer, a, a lower tier shelf, then we'll do it. But otherwise, I don't want to move. I don't want to move that right now. Especially on camera. I don't want to move that whole build. Okay, so there we go. There's some samples of how you can mix up, mix and match your... Um, different ways to scrapbook and whatnot. Okay. All right. Now, I wanted to do a little bit of Society of Idea Collector. So y'all know, we've been, I'm just going to give y'all a quick, oh, I do kind of want y'all to participate in this. Okay, so let me get a pen here. This one will work. Okay, so this is where we generate ideas. This is where we got the Society of Idea Collector started, was from doing these last, today's, this will be episode 20. Um... If I do one of those cards, guys, we'll do we'll do this segment, and then I'll stop the recording and start a new one to do that. We have a little bit of time. 
No, not Nanny. It would be much fun for you another day. Oh, no. I, as long as I can get to the stuff. That's the only thing. Um, I, I don't know that I can get to the stuff. Okay, so... Um, so the Society of Idea Collectors, we've been collecting ideas. I've been showing you how to collect things from colors, the questions, the who, what, where, why, when, how, uh, mind mapping, list making. And there's a, there is a um, playlist for the Society of Idea Collectors. So if you want to see all this, <laughs> I'm going to jump right into a little mind map exercise today. And so... Um, yeah, it's just going to be a quick one. Just a little something to keep people interested in our society of idea collectors. Because we're going to collect a little idea. So what I did is I started a new, this is my new, uh, I'm kind of combining the syllables and the society of idea collectors. Because this is completely full. It's just completely full now. And um, so I need to start a new one for 2018. Maybe I should put that on there. Let's go with 2018. Okay, this one would have been 2017. Well, how many days will... You like the crinkle sound, Jerry? Okay, well, wait. Here, let me just... Uh, these are some of our uh, crinkle sound one out. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on, my camera needs to come up here. Um, these were some color from um, design-seeds.com color combinations and mind mapping out colors so they're very crunchy we're going to we'll take a, a SMR a, a SM oh why can't I think of it now you know the sounds <laughs> uh, got too many ideas rolling in my head right now a sound You worked all day yesterday, Sugar, to catch up on your binders and your society. ASMR. Thank you, Azure. I couldn't, I don't know. I was like, SMR. I forgot the A. Our ASMR. <laughs> okay, so now I started using this one for just the syllables ideas, which we've done all these already for the syllables, but I'm going to go ahead and, and use it also for, um, for Society of Idea Collectors, and this will be number 20 according to Pecola. Okay. So here's what I want y'all to do. I started a list, and this is as far as I got because I got busy last night. So I only started. I'm. I want people. I want y'all to call them out to me. Okay. I'll tell you what I got, and then you can add to it. I want y'all to. And some of this you can consider low tech mech or not. Okay. I'm doing a mechanicals list, and there's a reason. We'll get to that in a minute. But I want y'all to call out low tech mech. Now. And I've got like a toaster, a lawnmower. And what I mean by low tech is like I don't want an iPhone. I don't want a computer. I don't want anything, you know, um, rocket ships, you know, nothing like that. I just want some low tech mech, okay? And some of this you could consider low tech or not. But anyway, so 
I got a toaster, a lawnmower, a weed eater, and I got to say, Hubster was calling out a couple things. So, you know, the man mind was on the yard. Chainsaw drill, a clock, a sundial, a mixer, an hourglass, flashlight, a light bulb or a lamp. That could or could not go with the low tech, but anyway. Christmas tree lights, a welder, and an airbrush. So... A transistor radio. Uh, okay, that's a little on the uh, a little iffy. Okay, transistor radio. So I need about I'm gonna do about 50 things. A <laughs> leaf blower. I got I said what did I say here? I got something like that. A weed eater. That's close enough. What's <laughs> okay? So um, I have mixer. Yeah, I said mixer, and husband goes, well, what about a blender? I said, let's just consider a blender and a mixer the same thing. Okay, Melissa, all right, a hair dryer. I'm going to call them out as they, they post them. Hair dryer, a compass. I like the compass, Jerry. Coffee grinder. Sewing machine. Uh, yeah, the kind that, that tr tr Trendle, is that what it's called, Eileen? Yeah. A heat gun. Heating pad. Hey, Lee, hey Lisa, good to see you. Okay, I'll, I'll say heat pad. And I know I'm missing some, but hang on. A push lawnmower. Well, I have lawnmower. We'll put in parentheses, a push kind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a battery toothbrush. Okay. And and again, I don't know that all this will be considered low tech, but I just mean like without uh, circuit, you know, uh, computer circuit components, right? You know. <laughs> I want a little something. A footstool is kind of... I'm putting that, I would put that in a different category. A coffee cup warmer. Okay, so y'all get your imaginations rolling here. Come on. A Rolodex. I got flashlight, Melissa. Hand water pump. Yeah, um. Yeah, hand water. Yeah, the cranky kind. Yeah, let's don't be cranky kind. Hand <laughs> water pump. I know what you're talking about. A wood burner. I think we have crafty minds. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> well, uh, air compressor. I did. Do, I did go with a airbrush. We'll just go with the airbrush, Terry. Dremel. Yeah. I haven't pulled, I need to pull my Dremel out. I haven't used my Dremel and I can't remember. Mechanicals. I don't know that a penny farthing is a mechanical. A kettle? <laughs> if you mean the money. Um, a mini vacuum. Okay, I'll put mini vac. Okay, 28, let's go 29, 30. I'll get 50 here. And y'all can make your own. And I have tons of other lists similar to this, but I thought it would be fun to make one with you guys. Let's go with 40 things. We'll go with 40. A slinky. <laughs> uh, a hot glue gun. This is just, all this is going to be today, guys, is an exercise in imagination. Okay? A hole punch. A pencil sharpener. Let's go with scissors. Windmill. A watch clock. I got a clock on here. I got a clock. Headphones. That's a little on the... That's getting almost a little high-tech, May. <laughs> Bing 
bingo. I like that. A bingo ball turner. <laughs> Uh, turning cage. I got the stapler. Craft knife and a ruler. Okay, we'll go with ruler. Uh, see, that we're kind of going... The tools and the mech are kind of all crossing over. That's okay, because again, it's going to be an exercise in imagination. Oh, a, an old, a camera. Yeah, the old-timey camera. Okay, yeah. Like a Polaroid or something. <laughs> uh, okay, matches. We've got two more, guys. Two more. And then i got to get some, My throat is really... I need to get some hot coffee or some juice or something before we do the exercise. One more. A fan. A, oh, well, no. We've got two more. Okay, a fan and an art cart. A flint lighter. Okay, a flint flint lighter. Okay. Gramophone. Okay, we'll go for 45 here too. 43, 44. Okay, a gramophone. Four more now. A record player. Pocket, well, okay, a pocket watch. I have a clock, but okay, a pocket watch. Two more things, guys. A megaphone, okay, a megaphone. And, yeah, yeah. A loom, okay, a loom. Okay, like a weaving loom. Okay, now, let me go run and get some coffee. Let's take a quick little break. We'll have Andy guard the, guard the list there. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back, guys. Don't, uh, no, 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 come back. Come back there. He's not going to stay. Hang on. There we go. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. Let me grab some coffee or juice, guys. Okay, I had to make coffee. I forgot I was didn't have any made, so I had to make coffee. So I just got some cranberry juice. Okay, catch my breath. All right, thank you, Andy. <laughs> okay, so now what I want us to do? Let me zoom in one. I should have done that earlier. 
here's the exercise. Now, I don't know what, hey Jean. <laughs> okay, so, what I want us to do, we'll go back and forth here. I'll let, I'm not going to let y'all see the list again, because, all right, so let me just do my question. And I write with a big Sharpie on camera so everybody can see it. And Mary's, uh, Mary Altier, she has a, why not? I like her little question, why not? So, <laughs> all right, so what I'm going to do is, first off, we're going to pick three of the different, let's do three, because that's probably all we'll have time for before this runs out. We've got about 30 minutes. Okay, so we're going to pick three different things. Let's pick just random three. Uh, somebody, somebody give me, uh, give me, a, uh, Suzanne, give me three numbers between one and 40. Someone was calling me? My phone is off. My phone is off. Huh. It's just Hubster. I have it, I have the thing turned off. <clears throat> But it was just Hubster. He knows I'm streaming. If it's important, he'll call me again or message me. He'll text me if it's important. Okay. Hey, Erin. Okay. So Suzanne said 8, 14, and 36. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with this. Now, remember, this is an exercise in imagination. It's not going to necessarily, we're not going to, we're not going to save the world today. <laughs> Well, we may, but that's, you know, that's, that's, well, that would be secondary. <laughs> okay, so number eight is a mixer. Now, y'all got to participate in this, so hang on. Number 14 is an airbrush. And number 36 is a ruler. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through each one and you're going to t think of everything it can do. So this will be kind of quick because everybody's going to be throwing out their things. So a mixer, okay, so it, I should probably write this littler. I don't know. I'm not going to have a whole lot of room if I write with the big. What does a mixer do? It combines, uh, it can combine food. It could combine uh, depending on the kind of mixer, it could combine cement, you know, the big cement mixer. <laughs> but what, what I want y'all to do right now is just off the top of your head, tell me everything you think a mixer can do. Okay? Combines food. <laughs> okay, we'll go with that. Okay, so it crushes ice and makes margaritas, according to Mermaid. Crushes eyes for margaritas. <laughs> See what I'm saying? You girls have imaginations. <laughs> All right, needs dough. <laughs> it makes noise. Makes la I'll put loud noise. Just use your imagination. Chops. Yeah, because we have combined foods, but it chops. It chops. Chops nuts, yeah. Makes vegan cheese. It does make cheese, okay. Makes cheese. I'll put vegan cheese. Makes ve That's from Aaron, <laughs> our, our resident vegan. Makes vegan cheese. A mix, yeah, I can mix paint, yeah, like the, the ones at the hardware store. Mix paint. It lessens physical work. See, y'all got imagination. Keep it up. 
pulverizes <laughs> Suzanne. <laughs> pulverizes <laughs> ice cream makes ice cream bread oh well, I got needs dough so we'll go with that got mixed paint paper pulp whips eggs well I said combined foods but okay we'll go with whips eggs and you see this is why you want to write small when you do mind mapping because you fill up a page quick and I write big here so that everybody can see it but yeah okay all right we're going to move on now we're going to move on to an airbrush okay so obviously it sprays paint so let's just say you could do a painting like um, art painting art then you could also they could do like house painting you know there's that kind of um, you know I mean I, when I think airbrush I'm thinking the little kind you know but whatever <laughs> Brother Galena. <laughs> okay. It blows air, but what would that be? What would you well we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so let's just continue on what does it do? We'll combine we're gonna do some combinations here in a minute. Um Okay, that's good. That's good, kangaroo. Makes models look good makes models look good because they're airbrushed like in magazines it splatters compresses air yeah makeup that's another one yeah makeup I've seen those ads I don't have one of those but yeah you can do uh, airbrush makeup which removes air, yeah, removes age lines. Age lines. An airbrush could shoot water for a water gun. Okay, we'll we'll not gonna work. We're not gonna roll with that one. <laughs> Paints t-shirts. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I would think that that you could yeah you would just fill the put the water in the water gun wouldn't you paint t-shirts and i'm trying i'm not trying to rain on anybody's parade here so <laughs> spray tans there we go can clog okay there we go clogs can clog Bye, paint. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can clog slash hard to clean. I think y'all are both on the same wavelength, art unit. Icing on a cake? I don't know if you could use this airbrush for that, could you? Can you spray? Well, okay, you just like spray using like the spray ice. Okay, I got you. Okay, decorating cakes. Gotcha. <laughs> For some reason, my mind went to putting icing in an airbrush. And I go, I don't know if that would work, but I see what you're saying. You spray the, the edible ink with edible inks or edible paints. Right, okay, gotcha. <laughs> Took me a minute. <laughs> dry your hair with a, with a airbrush <laughs> no we're not talking about a hairbrush it's an air <laughs> ah, yeah got it got it <laughs> give me a couple more a couple more if y'all can <laughs> oh gosh you girls oh my gosh you too <laughs> <laughs> Eileen. Eileen and Linda in the same room. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Yeah, um, yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, because they have the Copic, 
Copic airbrush system. But I think that's kind of, you know, marker. We'll, we'll say marker airbrush other than paint airbrush. Okay. Face painting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we had makeup, but yeah, face painting. Okay. All right. That's enough. We got enough. Stop, people. Stop. <laughs> All right. Now the last one is the ruler. Okay. So other than measuring, what would you say about a ruler? Smacking kids' hands in school like the nuns used to. Well, I don't know. I don't. That's kind of mean. We we probably don't need to put smacking the hands. <laughs> okay, measuring. <clears throat> okay, straight lines. Yeah, straight lines. Yeah, smack kids around. That's what I said, Terry. I don't know. Okay. Put it let's say put a whooping on. <laughs> put a whooping on. <laughs> tearing paper, yeah, tearing paper. Stir paint, okay. I don't know if I'd stir paint with my ruler. I'd probably use a stir stick, but okay, Miss Q. <laughs> stir paint. I want all this, though. It's fun. It's fun, because you'll see. Scratch your back. <laughs> Chatty Daddy. Oh, my gosh. Scratch back. Decoration. I'm not sure what you mean by decoration, Azure. You mean like hang a bunch of rulers around from a string? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I, yeah, okay. I use a yardstick, but yes, hold up your webcam. I use a yardstick, but we'll put that down. That's a good one. <laughs> good one, Kimberly. Uh, good one, Galena. Yeah, my webcam hangs from a, uh, hangs from a yardstick. <laughs> musical instrument tapping okay so you can make noise with okay make noise tapping uh, do you instead of playing spoons you play rulers like you know know what I mean Vern swat flies I don't know I'll put it down, but come on. I don't know if that I could catch it. I don't know if I could kill a fly with a ruler. <laughs> a ruler makes the world a better place. Okay. Uh, Janet says, makes the world a better place. Because, you know, Janet likes her rulers. In her beast. She draws her lines in her beast. Oh, I see. So you're talking like vintage rulers in a sewing room decoration. You've taken this to a whole other level, Azure. Level. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, a whirly bird. Yeah, putting it on the pencil and spinning it. Okay. Whirling. <laughs> <laughs> a garden steak, yeah, yeah, okay, a garden steak. I'm telling you people, if you just did this with one word, you, you your imagination just gets going. If you want to wake up in the morning, do a quick mind map <laughs> for folding, okay, folding, like folding paper straight. <laughs> a lines a yarn bobbin okay I don't think I've ever done it with the with a ruler yarn bobbin okay see these girls are smart centering okay a centering yeah we're gonna have to stop because I'm running out of room centering Um, 
a sh oh no i do i use paint sticks for that tar heel teresa but yeah shimming a broken shelf yeah i'll use uh i'll use paint sticks for shimming but it could this could work okay shim a shelf <laughs> or a yeah okay that's enough pom-pom makers <laughs> Yeah, I think we got draw lines, straight lines. Okay. So, now, here's where it gets interesting. We'll just do, even though we picked two things, let's, I mean, three things, we're only going to go with two. So, let's go with, which two do y'all want to do? The mixer and the airbrush. The mixer and the ruler. Or the airbrush and the ruler. There's our combinations. So we want to take two. <laughs> we want to take two of them. And we're going to combine them. Bye, Dragonfly! <laughs> Which two do y'all want to pick? Bye, Dragonfly. And again, guys, this is for an exercise in creativity. We're not trying to really build something. Although you never know, you might get some good inventions out of it. The mixer and the ruler, is that what y'all want to go with? Okay, so if we go with the mixer and the ruler. Okay, everybody's going with the mixer and the ruler. So if you combine, I probably really need to write them down here. Give me a minute, because, well, or let's tear them out. It'll be easier if I just tear them out rather than rewrite them. I'll just stick them back in. I'll just uh, tape them back in, because I don't want to rewrite these right now, because it takes so much time. Okay, so we're going to go with the mixer and the ruler. Okay, now let's forget the questions for a minute. Let's just forget the questions for a minute. <laughs> but if you could take, can everybody see it? See, this is the other issue, is being able to see it on camera. Okay? Yeah. If you mixed a mixer with a ruler, what could you come up with? Okay? I know it sounds like, but I'm telling you, it will, it helps your imagination be more, you'll be more creative doing these kind of exercises. Okay, so let's just say, um, okay, with the ruler, you um, get a straight line. I'm just picking one. I should probably write these on the line. <laughs> okay, so if you had your mixer, my brain hurts now. <laughs> this is the point. This is the point. Yes, a ruler is a good, it's a circle maker too. Exactly, Kmore, that's good. <laughs> you have to kind of use your imagination. I mean, you really do. It, that's the point of this. This is the point of it. And you have your questions here if you, get, if you, for, if you can't think of anything. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and do the questions first. All right, we'll do the questions first. Okay, let's see, I need another, I need more paper. <laughs> Let's go here. Okay. So now we're going to ask the questions on the mixer. I'll tear them out. It's easier. This is why I like notebooks. Three rings. Because you can move things around. And the ruler. Okay. So let's just start with this. Let's not, let's not make your brains over overwork. <laughs> well, I really kind of am. Okay. So who uses a ruler? Who uses a ruler? And again, I should be writing smaller because I'm not going to fit all this on here. Artist. Think of everybody that uses a ruler. There's a lot of people that use a ruler. Okay, engineers. Architects. Students at school. Carpenter, yeah, t students and teachers, I'll just write that there, 
draftsman. And women, draftsperson. <laughs> Scientist. We only got about 20, 30, well, we got about 30 minutes. Okay. Your husband. <laughs> okay, so we got, a, we got a start. Okay. Then what you can do, and again, I shouldn't be writing so big. Okay. All right, so what do they measure? What is measured? Tell me things that are measured. Liquids. No. <laughs> See, I'm already just going on off on the measuring without thinking of the ruler. <laughs> I just already started going out with the mixing and the ruler. And I started writing down uh, liquids. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Nurses and doctors. Okay. So now what, do you, what is measured with the ruler? Okay. So we got height. Paper, we got line. Feet. Oh, that's a good one. I completely forgot about the, the foot measuring things. That's good, Terry. I'm liking that. <laughs> Lumber. Yeah, I know that the rules, uh, I, mean, I mean, like there's inches, you know, centimeters, you know, all that. Okay, math. Growth. Area. Yarn. <laughs> you see I'm filling up this page already? This is why you write small when you mind map. Okay, yarn and trim, you know, any kind of, like, so fabric. We'll put down fabric. Miles. Distance. Well, I got miles. We'll just go with miles. <clears throat> Okay, so you see how you're getting so much information off of a ruler? <laughs> okay, okay, so now where, who, what, wh let's go with where next. Okay, so you would use maybe on a farm if you're measuring your, you know, land, okay, um, like at a fabric store or if you're sewing I'll say where sewing I'll say sewing room because any what any place you sew okay school office do you see now we're just <laughs> yeah I don't know it'd be probably pretty hard to uh, measure your waist with a ruler Maybe with the tape measure. We should have maybe done tape measure. <laughs> yeah, did we get, I think we got distance on here. We got miles. So miles slash distance. <laughs> okay. Yeah, your office, art room, art studio. Okay. So then we have, we got school, lab. Yeah. So, okay, so this is everything that you, roads, okay, roads. A shop, yep, a shop, like a carpenter shop. Like, let's just, I'll say wood shop. I'll put wood shop, it'll fit. <laughs> Workshop, yeah. Astronomer. I don't know if you really would measure. The, I, I maybe, yeah, I guess you could do something with the ruler and the stars. A garden. Anything that you would measure, right? So, all right, we'll just stop with this because, again, we could keep thinking and going and, okay. Okay, so when? When is it necessary? 
when when you when you're lost <laughs> when you're when you're uh, I don't know when when you you know when you need to measure but oh building yeah building sites that's a good one building sites maps okay maps that's good yeah we didn't even think of maps okay so when when could be maps okay to to cut evenly information yeah so let's get a couple more hanging pictures When you want to be exact, information, and I'll put slash exact. Centering. But when, like, when would you want to center something? That would be over here on the what? Centering. Blueprints. To make blueprints. See, I'm running out of room. <laughs> for safety okay calligraphy <laughs> well, that's good yeah to line up lettering okay I'm running out of room so we're going to stop with that okay um, we have why, let's see, wait, did we get who, what, where, when, why, so we don't fall off the, the flat earth, <laughs> how, <laughs> Okay, well, I think we get the idea. We're going to stop with this because we're, we're going to run out of time before we get to the, the mixer. Okay? <laughs> I think we get the idea. Okay? <laughs> what I want us to do is to take the things that a ruler does and what if we mix the two? Now you gotta just think a minute. Now think. Use all your information you've got here. Let's move the airbrush out of the way. And what if you combine a ruler and a mixer? And some of them work better than others, but you can usually get something out of them. Okay. Oh yeah, music lines. That's a good one when you use it. Okay. Line line up letters and music. Okay. There's a good example. So what if you had a mixer and a ruler? Okay, and you used it for music. All right, let's go with music. Or like, hang on, I got three things in my head. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stop a second here because I still have the questions in my head. Okay, so if you had a mixer. In a sense, that already happens. Because if you have a mixer, you have a ruler on the edge, right? You already have a ruler and a mixer. Y'all are still over on the how. Measuring, oh, um, on the why and the how. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got jewelry. Got building a house. We already did that building the house. Measuring. Okay, so in a sense, a ruler is also on cooking. It's on cooking things. Your mixer doesn't have lines. Do you have an old mixer or <laughs> well? so that you can you know how many, much you can put in it it doesn't 
I'm trying to picture my mixer. When was the last time I got out my mixer? I guess it would depend, too. If it's a blender, a mixer, a small one. You know, you got those small ones to make smoothies with. There's all different kinds of mixers and blenders. <laughs> so I guess it depends, right? <laughs> Yeah, we're going to just do two things. We're not we're going to leave out the airbrush. <laughs> All right, but he, now here. Now here. Let's stop. Wait. Now let's just wait. Let's just Okay, these are the kind of questions that like the kids in science get, right? <laughs> if you could invent if you could invent anything and with a with a ruler and a mixer. You got to kind of you do have to kind of take a breath. I mean, <laughs> but if you start just looking at your combinations of things. Okay, so I'm, I'm, let me just look at it for a minute. Okay, and, and I'm thinking in an art way. Okay, so we have maps from the ruler. And we have yarn. Oh, that's from the ruler too. Hang on, I gotta do my mixer. Hang on. Shh. To correctly, yeah, we have mixed paint. We have mixed paint on the on the on the mixer. Okay, so this is kind of what I, what my imagination sees. Okay, so I'm seeing a ruler, and I'm seeing lines of color like this. I'm just seeing like a ruler with colors, because I'm thinking mixing, okay? But I'm thinking, what if there was a ruler that had colors... And it had a way to measure how much color you were putting in each one to make, that's out of order, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A helicopter? A helicopter. I'm not, fig I'm not seeing that, sugar. Oh, you mean with the rulers making a helicopter play with, yeah, with like putting it on a thing and spinning it? <laughs> okay, so a ruler that measures your color. Hang on. Ruler. So what if everything that we measured, we could measure with color? Now, when I think about measuring color, and I also think about light, because the that's what, you know, your colors come from. So there's probably, I guess this would, essentially this would be a prism, right? <laughs> so are we talking about a prism? <laughs> we, we just invented the prism! <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys. You see where it goes. Our, our group just invented the prism. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Hey, Paula. Hey, Paula, you're just in time. We are, we are, have invented the prism. This, this group. With, with mind mapping, a mixer and a ruler. We and at throwing a little color and we invented the prism. <laughs> oh my gosh, my eyes are watering now, guys. Hang on, I can't read chat. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, Melissa goes, I knew we were smart. <laughs> so late though, yeah. Anyway, guys. I really, we got to stop this recording. We're going to run out of time. This is what I want you to do. I want you to play with what we did. 
And if you come up with something as good as a prism, let us know. We need this information. <laughs> Oh, okay, so Cass said a ruler that measures color for acrylic pores. That See, that would be good. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of people are doing acrylic pores. Yeah, that would be a, that would be a useful. That would be probably more useful to us in this group than the prism. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Next, next week, people, we're inventing the theory of relativity. <laughs> Alert the presence. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm going to stop this video. But seriously, and it doesn't have to be these items. Take some, you know, take take something off of the list over here. Take two or three things. Terry said if she put three things, her head would explode. But pick a couple things and just combine them. Again, it's an exercise in imagination. You don't really have to invent the prism here. I'm just, but it, it makes you think. It makes you think outside the box. <laughs> yes, it does. It separates. Prison separates. So maybe our ruler needs to have a lift and separate option. <laughs> now, now if it lifts and separates, you know, we we just came. We can we invented a new bra, people. <laughs> Okay, guys, so again, try, just try playing with this stuff. Try just playing with it to see what you get, you know, come up with, just, you just, you do not know what you'll come up with until you try it. So thanks for watching.